All right, five minutes after nine o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. You know how you know when you have a um, a star in their field on the show, Robin? You know how you know? Yes, how? People will be outside the window thinking that they're going to be in the studio. <laughs> Kara Ruda has a really big following, and uh, she's on the phone. So she's not here in the studio. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, Carrie Ruda is on the phone. She's got a, a book just came out last week sometime. It's already in the top, I think it was number 42 when I looked. Uh, Kara Ruda's book is called Best Day Ever. It's a thriller novel. It starts out, everything's nice and rosy, and they're gonna, the couple in the book is going to go on a, you know, the best day ever, kind of an outing, and it doesn't work out that way. Uh, Kara's going to stop me before I spill the beans. And uh, good morning, Kara. Thank you for waiting through that break. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, good morning. It's good to talk to you guys. I'm good. Yeah, you've got, I know this book is it's got, hard to talk about without giving anything away. And you've got some fans out there wanting the one I have. So <laughs> I'll give it away at the end of the interview. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, thank you for calling in. Where are you? Where are you calling from? Uh, Laguna Beach, California. How's Wow, you got up early. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, I know it is. It's still dark out. <laughs> yeah, when, when you when you have an, a new book like this, is it is it? Um, are there two stages? Is it is it like the first stage is just nervous about it coming out, and then nervous about what the public is going to think about it? Yeah, it's just a big bunch of nervousness. Really, <laughs> the whole process is. I mean, it's all um, fun energy, but it's definitely nerve wracking. Yeah, you you nailed it. <laughs> Well, in less than yeah. a week, you've you've got a lot of different reviews, and they're all good. You've got some really good reviews on Amazon, and so and sometimes people can be mean on Amazon, but you haven't had them yet. So <laughs> you, yeah. you've had all okay. the. I've, I've I've seen reviews on Amazon. Well, they, they'll give you one star because the book arrived late. It will have nothing to do with the I book. Know. It has everything to do with the delivery <laughs> exactly. of the book. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's super. Yeah, yeah. So let's just not tell those people that that it's even out yet. We'll just. <laughs> Keep so, it the way it's going, but thank you. Yeah, it's been it's been great so far. So, in best day ever, you paint a picture of the best family ever, the best couple, the most like, everything's perfect in the beginning, right? Um, right. So z that's a good place to start. How far do you want to go before you tell the audience it doesn't stay that way? <laughs> I know. See, and that is the, the funny part about this book because the whole idea behind the book is the perfect couple is the perfect delusion. And so, obviously, even um, at the get-go, you pretty much realize that there's not what it seems uh, between Paul and Mia. Yeah. And, yeah, then the rest of it kind of goes from there. But the whole premise is the husband and wife going on a romantic weekend together because they haven't spent time together as a couple, and she's been a little under the weather, so he wants to take her on a romantic weekend yeah. but you have um, two different types of women profiled here you have the family woman the uh, safe woman the one who plays Scrabble and then you have Gretchen and she's totally opposite right right and I think the the, the on the woman's side Mia who most people talk about Paul a lot but Mia has a the wife has a really strong quiet confidence mm -hmm. and she that you kind of uh, sense that uh, her strength building as as the story goes through and yeah and Gretchen is is totally a different character as well and I love the f I I love how um Gretchen and uh, the husband have met. I mean, that was just, you know, he was just so in love with his wife, and and then he tries to buy her a gift, and then all of a sudden there was Gretchen, and you really uh, described that scene very perfectly. It was like I was really there. Oh, thank you. Yes, he, he is buying his wife uh, romantic lingerie and uh, meets a saleswoman named Gretchen, and yes, and sparks fly. <laughs> 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 is, 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 is there a, is there a message to married couples to um, spend more time together maybe and, and not and not just the you know you know people say quality versus quantity uh, maybe quantity is important too huh 
Yeah, I don't know if there's a message. I, I mean, I guess there is in, in the long run with the book, just because um, it is about a couple's um, relationship disintegrating. So yeah, so spending time with if the person that you're married to is a good person is important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say I would say that's a pretty important thing. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you have the uh, a book at points written under his first person i just i just love that yeah thank you yeah it was it's pretty much he popped into my head as a character one day and really took over the story which sounds weird but he has a very strong voice and he he really wants the reader to like him and he'll even speak directly to the reader sometimes because he really wants to convince you that he's a good guy exactly uh one of the um um reviews on amazon says best book ever uh omg so i read a lot if you check out my many reviews i do you'll see that but i have never ever ever started a well-sized book one evening and finished it that night i read this awesome thriller from 7 p.m until 2 a.m wow wow that's pretty good that's that's fast that is good. we have to yeah. read, we have to read fast in order to do this show to be honest with you but I, but <laughs> oh, I, bet. I don't know about that fast that's kind of fast. <laughs> i uh, love yeah. the fact how we get an insight into you though i mean you're so busy you're in the public eye uh you're a, a novelist uh, you write help books also for women on the other side of the spectrum you're raising four children you have a, a good marriage and it just boggles my mind when when I hear people say, "Oh, I don't have enough time to do this, so I can't." You always say in your head that you have enough time to do things, so I can. Yeah, I, I think that's the the point of life, right? We we're all blessed to be here, and and you've got to follow your passions and your dreams because it's, things are not going to happen for you. You have to make them happen. And I, I look back on especially this fiction writing career. If I had given up at any of the steps along the way, then I wouldn't be talking to you guys right now. So it's you know it's worth going for it. Just be careful on the next romantic outing. That's all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad I'm not married to a guy named Paul. So everything's good. <laughs> and uh, you give people uh, confidence in the uh, their their babysitters that they have for for their children as well, because you know with all the horrible movies out there that portray babysitters as really bad people, you have the uh, babysitter in a very good light. Yeah, yeah, I, I had fun with that too. I, I that it does take a village when you're trying to um, raise kids, and we always were so lucky to have great babysitters. And yeah, so I, I'm glad that you noticed that because that's <laughs> that's an important. She's an important part of the whole um, story. Kara, am I saying your name right, Ruda? Yeah, Kara Ruda. Yep. Kara Ruda. Okay, I have a copy of the book. It's called Best Day Ever. If you call on the phone, you can have the copy that I have here. Um, and I, if I answer the call, uh, uh, <laughs> let me give the number real quick: six two two nine six two two. And the rest of us have to go by it before Robin asks her a question. What, what, um, do you have? I know I found that on Amazon. Do you have a website for the, for the book or for yourself? Yeah, I do. It's Kara dot com. So it's K A I R A R O U D A dot com. Okay, very good. And it's available at bookstores as well as online. And you also give uh, songwriters credits to uh, the the playlist that's included in your book. Yeah, it was fun coming up with a playlist uh, that Paul would have created for Mia for their special day. So, yeah, if you look at, well, and you you probably read the, you know, the, the songs are a little edgy. Yes. <laughs> They're not quite I, the I romantic you, songs. I th yeah. I think you've done all the work for the whoever makes this into a movie. You've done yeah. <laughs> you've, you've done the work for them. Yeah, they, that's usually their job, but you've got it already worked out. I don't know, I don't know if you want yeah. that or not, but, but I think they do. I think your fans want this as a movie. And uh, uh -huh. you you also um, appreciate readers groups. You have discussion questions yeah. in there, and that's that's pretty important. I think that respect. I think so too. I love book clubs and I love book groups. So and I yeah, I always loved it when authors had um, just kind of starting off talking points for a story. So that yeah, that was fun to do too. So thank you for that noticing that too. You guys really read a lot. It's awesome. Kara <laughs> <laughs> Ruda, thank you so much for getting up early uh, out in California to be with us this morning. The book is awesome. It's called Best Day Ever. It's uh, great. Uh, and uh, and thank you so much for being on the air with us today, Kara. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for having me. It was a great talking to you guys. You're fun, by the way. All right, we will be right oh. back. <laughs> The 
weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Sunshine mixed with clouds today. There can be a shower in spots near the coast this afternoon with a high of 87 to 91. Watch for strong rip currents, dangerous surf conditions, and some coastal flooding along the coast. Tonight, clear to partly cloudy, though 69 inland, 74 along the coast. Mostly sunny Tuesday, high 89 to 93. For Wednesday, mostly sunny and quite warm, high 90 to 94. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that, I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, and a new spoiler, and a new yep, truck. Yep, we it? can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too. Well, as a matter of fact, join me, Matt Gibbs, from Sunrise Automotive every Tuesday at 10 for auto repair with personal care right here on The Source. One of the best things about living in beautiful Central Florida is that we get to have a garden all year long. Spend some time on Tuesday mornings in the garden with Carol Ann Baldwin right here on WOCA The Source from 9 till 10 a.m. Carol Ann will take your phone calls and she'll even check out your photos on her In the Garden Facebook page. Grab a tall glass of something refreshing and spend an hour in the garden with Carol Ann each Tuesday morning right here on The Source WOCA. Here is your 30-second news brief. Hurricane Maria made its closest impact to Central Florida yesterday, bringing seven-foot waves along Volusia County beaches where red warning flags warn beachgoers of dangerous conditions. Voicemails left on Governor Scott's cell phone by employees of the Hollywood Nursing Home where 11 people died in the post-Hurricane Irma heat have been deleted. And there's a new State House committee addressing the pros and cons of how the state handled Hurricane Irma. And that is your news brief from The Source. Whether you're just starting out in your career or ready to make a change, being a commercial pilot is within your reach. The FAA has predicted that in the next few years, the number of planes in the sky will double, and that means a lot more jobs in aviation. Ocala Aviation has teamed up with an accredited university, enabling you to get a college degree in aviation while training to be a commercial pilot. And with options like financial aid, grants, and scholarships, it's never been a better time to get your new career in aviation started today. For more information, call me at Ocala Aviation, 352-861-7484. Life South would like to honor and thank all of our Hispanic blood donors during Hispanic Heritage Month. O negative blood is the most commonly used because it is the universal donor and 66% of the Hispanic population is type O. Hispanic donors are more likely to be a match with Hispanic patients. Make sure you do your part for your community by finding your nearest blood mobile center. Visit LifeSouth.org for more information. Hasta pronto. Hi, I'm Big Daddy Don Garlitz asking you to support adoption by purchasing a Choose Life license plate from your county tag office. You know it costs a lot to give a child life. Many times a woman is forced to make a bad choice because of financial pressures. Help save the lives of the unborn children by aiding women whom choose life instead of abortion. Take a stand for life. Purchase your Choose Life license plate today. For more information, go to ChooseLife.org or call 352 624 2854. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the third Wednesday of each month at 9.30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. Tired of looking at stained carpets, dirty tile, or grout? Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Make your flooring look great again. Stains, pet odors, allergies. Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. From serving our country to serving our community. Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Residential and commercial. And now, three rooms for just $99. Check their website, silverbackrestoration.com. What do I do now? After 911, don't worry, call Fakuri. Fakuri Medical and Chiropractic, treating auto injuries for over 32 years. Same day appointments, immediate medical attention, all under one roof. Don't worry, call Fakuri. Go to bestinjurycare.com. All auto insurances are accepted. Available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week to take your call. Car accident? Don't worry, call Fakuri. Bestinjurycare.com. 
Howdy folks, RL here for Dairy Queen again to tell you about what's hot and what's not. Dairy Queen has some of the best char-grilled chicken breasts on earth as well as their chicken breast salad. And the burgers are exceptional, cooked on a real grill for the best flavor and less fat. And for dessert, blizzards are unequal to personally. Banana split is my all-time favorite. Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where we always treat you like kings and queens. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Sunshine mixed with clouds today. There can be a shower in spots near the coast this afternoon with a high of 87 to 91. Watch for strong rip currents, dangerous surf conditions, and some coastal flooding along the coast. Tonight, clear to partly cloudy, though 69 inland, 74 along the coast. Mostly sunny Tuesday, high 89 to 93. For Wednesday, mostly sunny and quite warm, high 90 to 94. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. The best breeds for livestock guard dogs and where to find them. That's coming up on This Land of Ours. Citrus matters to Florida, its growers, its neighbors, and the state's economy. Tune in to this station Thursday, October 12th at noon for live coverage of the USDA's annual citrus crop forecast. Join Southeast Agnet right here on the radio Thursday, October 12th at high noon for live coverage of the annual citrus crop forecast sponsored through Southeast Agnet by LaborSolutions.com, Farm Credit of Florida, and Florida Citrus Mutual. Also, you can tune in live on our website at southeastagnet.com. Don't miss the 40th annual Sunbelt Ag Expo Farm Show in Moultrie, Georgia, October 17th through 19th. Field demos will showcase the latest harvest and tillage equipment for cotton, peanuts, and hay. Choose from over 300 seminars and demos on cattle, equine, sheep, goats, and dairy. Visit the Hoss Tools Demonstration Garden Area, hunting and fishing buildings, family living sections, and be sure to see the university exhibits. Come for a day or all three. It's just $10 per person. Visit sunbeltexpo.com for more information. Not just any dog can take the task of being a true work animal, guarding livestock and keeping predators at bay. There are several dozen breeds, actually, but the absolute very best LGDs include Great Pyrenees, the most widely used in America, Anatolian Shepherd, a breed historically known to be left alone with livestock for extended periods of time. Akbash, a Turkish breed with notably fluffy hair and a smaller frame than other LGDs. And also Merima Sheepdogs, which are fiercely loyal to the herd but could care less about people. The key to finding these breeds depends on how you do your homework. The best places to start are breed association websites, which can provide a list of reputable breeders throughout the country, or by contacting farmers who own LGDs to see how they found their dogs, and if they're selling puppies or perhaps even a mature trained animal expect to pay a minimum of five hundred dollars for a puppy and a thousand dollars for an adult and even twice that for some of the less common breeds i'm taylor hillman for southeast agnet tired of looking at stained carpets dirty tile or grout call silverback restoration 414-5312 make your flooring look great again stains pet odors allergies call silverback restoration 414-5312 from serving our country to serving our community silverback restoration 414-5312 residential and commercial and now three rooms for just 99 dollars. check their website silverbackrestoration.com all right, 24 minutes after 9 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. We were trying to get our guest. She was going to sh- talk about she, Faith Thomas, was going to talk to us about uh, a book she's written regarding um, uh, type 2 diabetes among children. Uh, we weren't able to get her. However, um, just coincidentally, I had a, uh, some information from one of our other sources giving us some science-backed strategies to help reverse diabetes, and I thought I would share that with you right now, um, since that's, that, that was the whole topic that she was going to talk about, right? Right, well, exactly. Well, one of them th- is simple. Start exercising. Apparently, exercise is the is one of the best ways to ward off type 2 diabetes, and, and this would be those who are borderline. The University of Alabama in Birmingham recruited more than 5,000 overweight adults with type 2 diabetes and assigned them to either an intensive weight loss program or an education and support intervention. After one year, 11.5% of those in the intensive group who reduced their intake to between 1,200 and 1,800 calories a day and increased their activity levels up to 175 minutes a week experienced diabetes remission compared to just 2% in the support and education group. So oh it's my not gosh. just about what you know, it's about what you do. Get out there and move around a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we had a doctor in here, Dr. Amy Newman was in here from local, locally, and she told us that walking is probably one of the best things you can do uh, to help ward off diabetes. The next thing it tells you to do, 
believe it or not, is to um, eat more cinnamon. Uh, a study in the, really a study in the, um, a study in the journal of something I don't know what it says here found that patients with type two diabetes who took a higher dose of cinnamon lowered their blood glucose levels more than those who consumed less cinnamon. Other studies from Pakistan and Germany found that larger doses of cinnamon lowered fasting blood sugar more than smaller doses of a placebo. How about that? Gosh, I'm going to have French toast more often. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I, I, I love all of this uh, research that right, you've the, done on the, this. The next one, eat less red meat. Cutting out burgers, bacon, and steak may help you say goodbye to diabetes. According to an article from Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, the high iron content of red meat makes insulin less effective and may even damage the pancreas cells that produce it. Oh, I never knew that. So I know we've heard it a hundred times, right? Or the next step is to just consider going vegan and get the meat out of your diet completely. Mm-hmm. Right? So that we've heard that too. Yeah. Uh, vegan diets tend to be low in fat and high in fiber, protein, and other essential vitamins and minerals, a combination that might help rebalance your blood sugar. According to a report, in 43% of diabetics who follow a vegan diet reduced their diabetes medications compared to 26% who followed a conventional diet that included meat. Gosh. How about that? No, this is a thought-provoking session when, here. When choosing the vegetables, uh, variety matters. One British study from the Institute of Metabolic Science in Cambridge found that adults who consumed 16 different kinds of produce a week were 40% less likely to develop diabetes than those who ate half that amount. So lots of different... I'm going to the salad bar today. It's what I'm yeah, and produce. I mean, pr- you know, everything from fruits and vegetables. It's, gosh, it's amazing. All right, the next one says yoga is a, is a good way to reduce your diabetes. Uh, a small study found that people with diabetes who took yoga classes kept their glucose levels steady and even lost a few pounds. Mental stress can lead to a rise in blood sugar in people with diabetes, according to the American Diabetes Association. So the stress-relieving aspects of, of a mountain pose or downward-facing dog are likely responsible for mm-hmm. keeping glucose levels healthy. <laughs> I believe that because so much happens with anxiety. Right. You know, so much happens with anxiety. All right, the next one is to try fish oil. The omega-3 fatty acids in fish oil supplements are known for keeping your heart and brain healthy, but new research suggests they might also help manage diabetes as well. A study by the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health analyzed 14 clinical trials where about half of the participants took fish oil and half took a placebo. Those who took fish oil increased their adiponectin levels, which is a hormone that regulates glucose, more than the placebo group. So, um, oh my. get your fish oil in there. Mm-hmm. The next one you're going to like, partake in happy hour. Oh, I like that. That's great. It says moderation (laughs) is the key. Alcohol may actually help manage diabetes. Moderate amounts of alcohol, up to one drink a day for women and two for men, makes insulin more efficient at getting glucose inside cells. While other studies indicate moderate alcohol consumption decreases the risk of type 2 diabetes, according to an article from the same school, Harvard T.H. Chan School. Oh, okay. Uh, The next one is quit smoking. There's so many reasons to quit smoking. This is just one of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next one is consider surgery. Oh. Uh, though it's obviously more extreme than maintaining a healthy diet and active lifestyle, bariatric surgery is an effective way to reverse diabetes in severely obese individuals. In a study, uh, 40% of gastric bypass patients and 29% who received a gastric band went into remission from diabetes compared to 0% from a lifestyle group. Study authors don't credit weight loss for the success, but instead to anatomy changes of the stomach and intestines, which produces hormones that affect insulin regulation. So those are the uh, the nine different scientifically, I guess, scientifically backed strategies, and don't take my word for it. I got it from Reader's Digest if you want to read the whole article for yourself. Oh, my God! All right, we will uh, take a little break. Dr. Lauren Wright coming on next to talk to us about her book called On Behalf of the President, Presidential Spouses and White House Communication Strategy Today. We'll be right back. Fox 
News Radio. I'm Chris Foster. President Trump tweets about the national.